changing late with Coach Hinton and Coach Warren coming over here was mm -hmm. fairly obvious for you, but just just sort of your, your recollections of Notre Dame, why it was a potential fit for you early on and, and ultimately the, the change. Yeah, I mean, so the, the thing with that was, um, you know, I grew up in Ohio. I'm an Ohio kid. I'm an hour from Columbus. Um, that's the team I grew up rooting for. Mm -hmm. um, they just didn't offer me for the longest time. So, I mean, that was kind of a tough pill to swallow for there for a while, but I just kind of had to move on to, you know, my next choice, and that was Notre Dame. Um, great place, still love it, beautiful campus, great people around there. But, you know, when the opportunity came um, that I could play at my, you know, my number one dream school, you know, that's just something I couldn't pass up. When, when you knew, when you saw that Hinton, your area recruiter and Warner, your position coach, were leaving to go to Ohio State, did you know, like, okay, this, this might be happening for me? No. Okay. Um, they actually didn't recruit me. Um, I didn't know about that until after I got a call from Coach Meyer. Okay. So Coach Meyer called me and, uh, you know, basically said, you know, you're kind of on our board because, um, you know, he got there late kind of scrambling to get recruits and you're on our board um, and we want to keep you in Ohio. Uh, we know you're an Ohio kid. Um, so at that point, I was going to take a visit and then, you know, obviously he did hire Coach Hinton and Coach Warner, who were my two main contacts at Notre Dame. So, I mean, that just kind of made it. That transition uh, kind of seamless. Mm -hmm. You know, you know anybody at Notre Dame still, or was there anybody in that class that you connected with while you were coming? Um, I, I I knew Ronnie Stanley. Okay. Um, a couple of visits with him. Um, I, Nick Martin hosted me on my official visit. Um, I'm sure there are a couple other guys yeah. that I, if I saw them, I'd remember them. Um, but yeah, there are guys I know, and mm -hmm. you know, like I said, there's great people there. Um, you know, no. Hard feelings sure. from from my end. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was visiting there, committed there, they were they were great to me. Um, so yeah, cool. That's, do you remember that moment when Urban first called? I mean, did you know he was going to be calling? I actually uh, did not answer the phone <laughs> because it was an unknown number. I didn't know the area code, so I just didn't answer it. Um, and then I listened to the voicemail, and I was like. <laughs> Jeez. Recognize the voice. Yeah, so I was like, I was, call or anything. Yeah, I was homesick from school and uh, I just like went upstairs to my mom's room and I was like, Hey mom, um, <laughs> Urban Meyer just called me <laughs> and she was like, What well, did you call him back? <laughs> I was like, Not yet so then I uh, called him back and talked to him. But right then yeah. Right then though the you knew that the jump was possible and mm -hmm. how excited were you? Taylor. I mean, I was pumped, but um, at the same time, I was, you know, I've always been a, you know, pretty loyal person, so yeah. uh, I was kind of put in an awkward situation. Um, so, I, I mean, I was probably kind of resistant at first, like, well, I, I don't know if I should come visit, you know, I've been committed here for so long, I've told people this is where I'm going to go. Um, then, you know, talking to Coach Meyer over, you know, a few days, and uh, just kind of talking to my parents decided that I was going to go visit. Do you remember I 